Well, if it's a dare, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not a dare. <laughs> Did you know that there's 12 of these sweet and low packets in every one diet soda? No. Does that change your perspective on diet soda or diet coke specifically? Yes. 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 Pretty gross, yeah, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so our body composition, so everything inside of our bodies, hasn't changed in hundreds of years. Yet today, obesity levels are so much higher than they were 100 years ago. And why is that? Well, it's pretty simple. What we're putting into our bodies just isn't healthy. Things like diet soda and artificial sweeteners, which is actually aspartamine, they're just not healthy for us. So, there are several reasons why you should live a healthier lifestyle. To reduce heart disease, to reduce the risk of high blood pressure, to reduce the risk of diabetes, and overall just to extend your lifespan. This seems like a pretty legitimate reason to me as to why someone would want to change their eating and drinking habits and reduce the toxins in their body. Yet, one out of three Americans are obese in the United States. So what's the main contributor of weight gain? It's not white bread, it's not the ton of Easy Mac and ramen you eat in college, and it's not even the alcohol. It's diet sodas and artificial sweeteners like aspartamine that are in these sweet and low packets. For one diet soda, so this bottle, if you consume this right now, it would take 18 months to fully process out of your body. So it's a year yeah. and a half for one bottle of diet soda. And that's because of the toxins in aspartame. Trust me, I know, I literally drank diet soda like it was my job until I, until I found out about this. So this is just simply because of the toxic, to toxicity in these aspartame sweeteners. In an 11 year study by the Harvard Medical Students, they found that these artificial sweeteners, so the 12 packets in this one diet soda, are responsible for kidney decline. In another study by the University of Minnesota, they looked at 10,000 people and concluded that people who drink one diet soda a day or more are at a 34% higher risk for metabolic syndromes. So that's belly fat, high cholesterol, and these are the things that lead to heart disease in the future, or high blood pressure, diabetes, these bad things that can happen in our bodies just simply from drinking one diet soda. Here's another question for you. Raise your hand if you think soda is acidic. All right, so majority of you. All right, now did you know that diet soda and soda in general is one of the most acidic things we put into our bodies? On the pH scale, so water's a seven and it's completely natural, diet soda's a 3.2. Because of the acidity of diet soda and the toxins in it, just by drinking one soda a day or more, you're rotting away your teeth enamel, you're causing yourself to have more fillings, you're losing teeth and your, tooth are, your teeth are decaying, essentially. So I've just given you several reasons as to why you shouldn't drink diet soda. But if you do, it's okay because, like I said, I literally was addicted to diet soda. I drank it every single day. So here are some of the reasons why you should detox your body and how you can detox your body. On average, Americans consume 52 pounds of sugar and artificial sugars each year. A majority of that is coming from aspartamine, the sugars and artificial sweeteners. They're in diet sodas, they're in condiments like ketchup. I don't know about you, but thinking about 52 pounds of sugar, in my mind, I just kind of picture a mound, and it just makes me want to throw up. It's disgusting. So, here are some ways that we can fix these habits and fix our bodies. I'm not going to lie, the process is not the best, because in the beginning, you're probably going to have a headache for a few consecutive days. This is just your body's way of telling you that you were addicted to aspartamine and caffeine, essentially. Here's step one. To detox your body, drink a lot of this. Water. It's the best thing that you can put into your body. It's the only thing we put into our bodies that has zero toxins in it. And it's the best way to flush out your system. So to get rid of one of these in 18 months, you need to drink a lot of this. <laughs> so I, get, I am going to challenge you guys. From now until the end of the week, or even just till Friday if you want to, cut out all the drinks that you normally drink a day. If you really drink coffee, drink maybe one instead of, I was drinking eight coffee, so that's crazy. But I literally cut all drinks out of my diet except for water, and I let myself have one coffee a day. 
and I've seen such a difference in my hunger, my eating patterns, my sleeping patterns, my energy levels. So I'm going to challenge you guys and just drink water for the next few days and see how you feel afterwards because I guarantee you'll see a difference. Step two usually involves natural vitamins when you're detoxing. You can eat vitamins like uh, B, E, and C, or uh, amino acids are actually a really good way to reboost your system and to help with the damages that like our aspartame and the sweeteners causes to the inside of your body. And the last one is charcoal, which you can either take as a supplement or you can apply to like the outside of your body almost as a lotion. But charcoal is the best way to avoid the side effects of detoxing your body, so the headaches, the constant hunger in the beginning, and things like that. Finally, just consider changing your overall diet. A lot of people think that a detox can go for a few days and they're just, I always hear girls say, I'm just gonna detox for the next week. I'm only gonna drink water with honey and lemon, or I'm not gonna eat anything for the next three days. It's so unhealthy because the second you go back to eating, your body gains it all back. Literally everything we put into our body has some type of toxins, toothpaste, fluoride. If a kid ate a bottle of toothpaste, they could die because of the amount of toxins in it. There's literally what they use for rat poisoning and toothpaste. So like just the little things that you don't realize you're putting into your body has toxins in it. So these diet sodas especially. But consider detoxing your body for six months because that's the average time it takes for your body to wipe out a majority of the toxins. And like I said, there's some toxins you just can't avoid, like fluoride, you have to brush your teeth. So for the next six months, just think about more consciously drinking more water, eating more leafy greens, and avoiding putting into your body these diet sodas. I'm not sitting here telling you that you can't ever drink a diet soda again. I'm just trying to warn you about the effects of diet soda. So I hope the next time that you go and pick up a can or a bottle of diet soda, you think about the harmful ways that you could be doing things to your body and just the ability that you have to stop and drink a bottle of water and save yourself from 18 months of your body trying to process that one can of diet coke. So thank you, and if you have any questions.